last night, I got a call from a friend saying, hey Bernard, do you want to join me to a bit of a shooting this morning? I said, why not? How far is it? Where is it? I got a couple hours to spare this morning. So yeah, it said, not too far from your house. It's called Dunlop Fall in the Gatineau Park. It's about 20 minutes from where I live. I've been in that area, but I've never seen the fall. So looking forward to that. I've seen some image here and there. And uh, yeah, it's, it looks nice, especially at this time of the year. Because, you know, the snow had melt and we're in the spring and the water is flowing. So hopefully uh, we can get some nice shot there. So what I'm hoping to get is detail of the woodland. Uh, this time of the year, it's chaotic. There's a lot of branch, as you can see here. This is what basically the woodland look like. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of leaf. So it's, it's gray, you know, brown, grayish, branchy. So we'll see. But I'm hoping to get some nice detail of different things there. So anyway, I won't be talking that much. It would be more of a, you know, um, me taking photos and me posting the photos. And hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this one. It's going to be a small one, small video. Um, as far as the channel go, um, beginning of this year, work has picked up pretty much a lot. And uh, we're going to be back on the road soon. I'm, I'm flying to uh, Saskatchewan in a couple of weeks. So maybe, maybe while I'm there between meeting, I can make a little videos, go out and shoot. There's nice area down there. So, but anyway, we'll see. Anyway, just enough talking. Enjoy the view. It's a nice fall. It's big. It's flowing up, flowing full, full speed. Very noisy too. Hopefully you're getting my, my voice properly here. But this is the kind of thing I was talking about when I was coming here. Taking photos of these little thing here, little detail um, that could be very interesting to, to shoot. And at the same time, could be very pleasing to to print and hang on a wall you know so I'm gonna try to find something similar to that but with more uh, more interesting feature right now this one seems uh, all over the map there and I don't want to touch it I don't want to place anything just want to find um, a natural way of taking pictures of this but there's a lot of stuff to print in the woodland again if we look at uh, these trunk here, very interesting. The moss, this is a birch. The moss, the roots coming down like this. This could be another interesting uh, photo. But anyway, there's a lot to be shooting. And also what I find interesting here is these little trees with leaves on it. See these, these guys? Interesting. So there's all kinds of things like this. Yes, the showstopper is over there, but also these things can be very, very pleasant to take picture of and, and they're gonna look good. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna try a different thing and uh, see how it goes. So let me explain what I'm doing here. So I'll show you my setup. You have to keep in mind this is a 21 millimeter lens on the full frame camera. So basically my focus point will be about here. So this for me 
So if I focus over there at F16 from here all the way up, everything is in focus. So my ISO is at 400. Let me do this again. ISO 400. 30th of a second. F16. So that's my setting for this this shot. So let's let's do this properly. There we go. Let's take another shot. I'm underexposed about two stop. Um, no, one one full stop because uh, I'm getting some of the sky, so I don't want to blow out the highlight there. And then I can recover in uh, Lightroom my uh, my shadows. I back focus always. I assign my AF button at the back to back focus. So back focus. Two second. Shot is done. And here it is. Enjoy it. So much potential here, unbelievable. So I'm gonna try another shot from here. I put my polarizer on it. See if I can get that, some of that wet rock in the bottom so we can see there's rocks in the bottom of the flowing here. See if I can sweep this, this, this fall with my 21, 2.4. All right, all right. So this camera can do pixel shift. Uh, I haven't, I'm not gonna do it here because it's flowing water. And I seen some result online. It doesn't look that great actually when there's flowing and movement. There's botchy places so I will use pixel shift, but on stat static image, not not moving image. All right. Okay, folks, this is my scene right there. So I'm focusing on this big rock there. And because I'm at F16, everything from here at the bottom all the way up there should be sharp. My arpofoco. And this tree is also included in there. Uh, let me see here. All the way to this line here. So we have this line coming down a diagonal, merging with this tree here. And we have this big tree kind of framing, more like this, framing this, this water coming down. So anyway, I look at the shot right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Anyway, I'll take the picture and there it goes. 
on the screen for you to admire. This cloud, sun is gone, almost. So I'm trying this, uh, these beautiful leaf here. Um, the problem is, is, it's windy. It's very windy. So I'm waiting. Right now my focus is, uh, well, I tried to focus on this. I'm at 2.4. So I'm gonna try to focus here. All right, there you go. There's a downtime. Two second timer. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I'll be posting this one right now. Take a look at this and tell me what do you think about this? These detail woodland photography macro close-up shot this is not macro this is close-up i don't have a macro lens yet so maybe the intention is to get a micro lens and uh, do more detail let me let me know what do you think about this one Folks, this is why I got this lens. I'm gonna throw a picture in there. It's in a handheld pixel shift. Um, close up, not a macro, close up shot. Of a bunch of little mushrooms on there. So hopefully you enjoyed that shot. And this is why I got this wide angle lens, super wide, 21 millimeter. So I can do shot like this actually. So you tell me if it's if it's good or not. I think it's good. We'll try to see if I can find any more, any other subject here. Time is getting tight for me, so I might have to head home soon. And if I don't see anything else, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll try to be posting more on a regular basis, maybe once a month at least. I'll try, I'll give it a try, really honestly. Uh, but it's not been, hasn't been easy. Busy, busy, busy. But anyway, if this is the type of photography you would like to see on this channel, thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below. Until next time, folks, keep shooting.